Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minimalist Styling and today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks I've learned over the past couple years on how to get clear skin. Alright, right, so today's video is kind of different from my other videos, but I thought I'd share what I've learned over the years on how to get clear skin and what I've learned helps with me and how to get clear skin because this stage of your life, your body's changing and you start to develop acne. I'm going to show you how to treat the acne and eventually get clear skin. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find a good face wash. Now, this is the most important part of having clear skin. It may sound obvious, but some people actually don't wash their face properly. So today I'm going to give you guys three options of face washes that I use or used to use. And the first one is this one. I'm gonna link everything in the description below. This is a product by Sukin, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I use this one in the morning only because this one is a lighter face wash and you don't really have to use a heavy duty face wash in the morning after you've been sleeping, you know, you didn't gather too much dirt on your face so I just use this one. It smells really nice and it works really well. Alright so the second one I use is this one called Benzagel. I use this one at night because it is a heavier duty face wash. It's gonna clean deeper. Now how you're gonna use this, you're gonna squirt a bit on your hands, make sure you have clean hands and then you're gonna scrub it for about 60 seconds and then get your face cloth, wash it off. And you wanna be very, very gentle when you're applying it and when you're washing it off. You don't wanna to scrape too much of your skin because that will cause scars and you'll be good to go. So this is the one I use at night. For the final face wash, I picked this one. It's by Spectro and this is one you can find in like Walmart, uh, like pretty much any pharmaceutical store will sell this. This is a very common one for a good reason. It does work really well, but I needed something that suited my skin type more. I have dry skin, so this one and this one are really good for dry skin. Um, but this one is more of an overall, like any kind of skin type. If you don't know what skin type you are, I will link a website down below or a picture down below showing you how to tell what kind of skin type you are this one isn't the best for me but it could work out for you all right so if the face wash isn't enough for you I have another product that you can use I only use this at night because it will give you dry skin again it is a heavy-duty product but it's again by Benzagel and this is an acne gel, so you don't want to put it all over your face. You don't want to like rub it in like a moisturizer or something. You're just going to want to put it on the infected areas. So the best thing to do to apply this product is put a little dab on your finger and then just tap all the infected areas and then gently rub it in and let it sit for a good 15 minutes and then you can apply your moisturizer after that. But this is definitely a very good product if you if your acne is really, really bad and you're trying to, you know, contain it and you don't want it to spread anymore, so this will be a very good product. Again, do not put it all over your face because it will dry out your entire face. All right, so moving on, now we're going to look at the moisturizers that I've selected. And the first one is Aveeno. Now this moisturizer is one that I use every single day. I use it after I wash my face in the morning and at night before I go to bed, I also put it on. Now. This moisturizer specifically, it has SPF 15, so there is some sun protection in it, which is very nice. So you're not limited to just a moisturizer, you actually have sunscreen in here too. So if you're going outside, you wanna be protected, you don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on, you already have it on your face. Moisturizer, I can't stress it enough, it's super important, especially for people with dry skin, so you're gonna want a good moisturizer, and Aveeno, I found, is best for me. It smells pretty good. It doesn't smell too much like sunscreen. If you don't want the one that has sunscreen in it, they do sell moisturizers that don't have the sunscreen in it, but I found that this is the easiest one to have for me, especially since it's summer right now, and you know, you're going outside, you don't really wanna Put on sunscreen. All right, for the second moisturizer, I picked out this one. It's by Biotherm. This specific moisturizer is a heavier duty one. So what that means is it will make your skin look a bit greasy, which is a downside of it. But the upside is it really does moisturize your face a lot. Um, so you won't have dry skin at all when you put this on. 
but the downside is is your skin will look a bit greasy and the Aveeno with the Aveeno one it won't it won't make your skin look too greasy I do use this one only in the winter because for the winter my skin gets a lot drier so I need a product that can keep up and keep my face moisturized all day so I'd say this is the better option for winter and this one's definitely the better option for summer uh, just because of the sunscreen and this one is thicker so it's way better for the winter it'll keep it protected from the dirts that'll build up all day the grease that'll build up all day and all that kind of stuff so moisturizer very very important alright so the final thing you're gonna want to get clear skin is a good face mask now I chose two options here and the first is one called Glam Glow. I got this from Lush. It is a very expensive product. It was $60 and for such a little container, I don't know if it's worth it, but when I use this, it definitely, definitely helps out. So what a face mask does, uh, you apply it on your face and then you let it sit for about 15 minutes. So I let this one sit for a good 15 minutes and then you wash it off and then you're good to go. Put on your moisturizer and you're good to go. So what a face mask does is it helps your skin look smoother. So when you apply it on, uh, it's basically a clay mask. So it's just gonna take out all the rough patches around your skin. So it is a really, really good product to have to help your skin get smoother. And also it will clear up your skin significantly. The face masks are definitely a very good solution to clear skin. This one from Glam Glow, it is expensive, but it is a very good face mask to have, especially if you're looking for smoother skin. If you have rough skin, you're definitely gonna wanna use a face mask. All right, so for the second face mask, I picked one from Biotherm Men again. Um, this one it is not as good as the Glam Glow one, but it does smell way better and it is much easier to apply. For this one, it says to only have it on for three minutes, but I like to leave it on for six minutes because the recommended amount of time for a face mask is about 15 minutes. So I, I kind of wanted to go higher than the three minutes and it has been working for me really well. I've used this for about two weeks now because I ran out of this one, I definitely like the scent of it better than the other one. Now, for face masks, when you're washing it off, what you're gonna wanna do, wait about 15 minutes for it to set in, you know, soak in, take all the, the rough patches out of your skin, and then you're gonna take your face cloth, rinse it with warm water, rinse off the entire mask, and then as soon as you get the mask all off, you're gonna wanna get cold water and splash it on your face just once. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna close all the pores, and it's gonna keep you protected. When you put cold water on your face, it closes your pores. And if you don't use the cold water, you're leaving your face exposed because the hot water opens them up. So you're gonna wanna seal them again as soon as you finish taking off the mask. Now, all these products aside, there is alternatives that you can use without even using products and it will help you get clearer skin. And the first one is don't touch your face. Do not touch your face because the grease and the dirt that builds up on your hands all day and then you touch your face with it and you rub it in, that's gonna cause acne. All right, so for number two, it involves sleeping. Keep your sheets clean, you know, wash them every week or so and just to make sure that your sheets are clean because the dirt that builds up and the sweat that builds up on your pillows that will cause acne, a good alternative is to sleep on your back or of course, get keep your sheets clean or just change your laundry detergent. Now the third and final solution to clearing your skin up and taking away the acne is eat your greens. Don't eat too much chocolates, don't eat too much candies, you know, sweets, sugar, because that will build up acne. And also I found that when I drink 2% uh, milk, it I do break out, so that might just be me. A healthy diet is definitely a very good solution to curing acne. Now, doctors have not found a cure to acne yet, but if you're looking to go the more major ways, you know, the more extreme ways, uh, you could go talk to your doctor, get a prescription. I don't recommend this, but if you do have a lot of acne and you know it's getting out of control you, you can't really find anything that's working i would suggest going with accutane but there are a lot of side effects with it for example you get really dry skin really dry lips and you also get um, mood changes so i don't know if that's something that would interest you guys but i'm giving it to you as an option because i do know people who have taken accutane before and they did experience all those side effects their mood was different 
Uh, they had mood swings like that. I don't know if that sounds good to you guys, but it did really help them after the treatment. Their face was cleared, but there were a lot of side effects. So the options I gave you here, they are definitely healthier solutions to it. But if you do have an extreme case of acne, I'd suggest going with the Accutane. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's different from the usual videos, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys some insight on how to get clear skin because it's a problem I've been dealing with for two years now. Kind of gained more knowledge as I went on with it, and I wanted to share with you guys, help you guys out, because I know there's I'm not the only one out there that's trying to deal with this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in my next one, guys. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,